Mountain bikes frequent this path in the village of Marymont, and city leaders say some riders are damaging a sacred Native American burial ground. Now the city wants bikes off many parts of the Dogwood Park, and Nine on Your Side's Julie O'Neill shows us the controversy that could come to a head tonight. I'm right behind the Marymont community pool where the kids still swim. Just behind here, you see the beginning of a trail that leads up to a burial mound that bicyclists have been riding up, and the mayor of Marymont says damaging. If he has his way, it'll be closed off to bikers very soon. It's very important archaeologically, and it's very sacred. Archaeologist and UC professor Ken Tankersley is leading the charge, with Marymont Mayor Dan Policastro right behind him. They want mountain bikes off these mounds. It's a burial mound that contains the ancestors of modern-day Algonquian-speaking people, such as the Shawnee, the Delaware, and the Miami. As a result of the bike trail, it's actually exposed human remains. Dr. Tankersley recently found a metacarpal. Uh, this is a bone that's worn from bicyclists who were literally riding over the bike trail and riding over human remains. You can imagine if the people who constructed this trail, if someone put a trail over their mother's grave, how they would feel. Mayor Paula Castro doesn't feel good about Marymont losing its place on the National Register of Historic Places. I would think uh, property values would go down. And the mayor says he worries about safety, wanting to see bicyclists limited to a dry creek bed area below and away from walkers. If you've got bikes and you've got people walking, it just doesn't mix. We stand on the side of the Native Americans with this. Doug McClintock with the Cincinnati Off-Road Alliance, or CORA, agrees bikes don't belong on the mounds, but says the proposal to ban bikes from so much of Dogwood Park goes too far and says hikers and cyclers can coexist. We're the biggest advocate for natural surface trails. We feel they're a great aspect of recreation and they bring hikers and cyclists and bird watchers and all sorts of different people together. We believe that we can find a way to work with them to realign this trail so that it goes away from those sensitive areas and still preserves that natural outdoor recreational opportunity for the village of Marymont. At seven tonight, council members in Marymont will vote on whether to close these trails off to mountain bikers. We will update you on what they do tonight on Nine on Your Side at 11. In Marymont, Julie O'Neill, Nine on Your Side.